Well, my presentation is on uh, editing Wikipedia, changing the world's largest free encyclopedia. Oh, that's the logo for Wikipedia. What is the first place you go if you need a quick answer for anything? Google? Probably Wikipedia. Uh, who here has edited Wikipedia? Cool. Uh, did you do it with a user account? Cool, so you have a user account on Wikipedia. I have like seven because I messed up the accounts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Oh, gosh. And uh, so that's the next question. How many of you here have honestly vandalized the Wikipedia? There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to be talking about <laughs> three aspects of uh, Wikipedia today um, user privileges, rules, and tools. Well, this is a good case of uh, vandalism right here. I didn't do this. Uh, somebody put in at the, uh, on the Taylor University webpage after the, uh, it talks about the Rice Bell Tower, that several conspiracy theories surrounding the Bell Tower have surfaced linking that oddly designed structure to Roswell, New Mexico, and the alien subculture. Further evidence of this link can be seen in the occasional abduction slash transfer of students away from Taylor, as their departure from the university is otherwise unexplainable. That's a case, <laughs> case of vandalism right there. So, IP users. This is a, uh, if you're, if you edit Wikipedia um, without, without a username, uh, this is what you uh, are editing under. This has the lowest privileges. Uh, you can, uh, ooh. no, you can't edit protected pages. You can't edit protected pages. Uh, you can discuss, you can edit unprotected pages, is what I meant to put. You can discuss on talk pages, which is, a place, we'll talk about that later, where you can um, talk about what you what you want to do with the article because, you, you know, you don't just have a bunch of editors working on a page without um, them talking to each other about it. Uh, registered users. Um, I'm a registered user in Wikipedia. He has several registered user accounts, apparently. Uh, these have higher privileges. Uh, they can move articles, which is practically renaming them. They can create articles. And they can upload pictures. You can't upload pictures if you don't have a user account. Then there's the administrators. <laughs> they have the highest privileges outside staff. Uh, they can delete articles, protect pages, and block users. So laying, hmm, laying down the law. Rules are established in three ways. Consensus of the community which is uh, most of the community gets together and discusses rules. And the consensus is, it's not a fixed number, but it's what the community generally agrees on, what most Wikipedia users will come to an agreement on uh, the rule that's in place. Then there's also office actions. These are, you know, if, they, if uh, Wikipedia is uh, afraid of liability because they can get sued as an organization, uh, they'll do an office action. Like there was an office action um, recently to take down uh, information that Nielsen uh, has uh, copyrighted. Um, so they have to, they're working on taking down, so the Wikipedia users are working on taking down all this uh, rankings of different, like the Miami area and the Fort Lauderdale area and such and such, um, West Palm Beach area and the TV areas and uh, taking down that information, maybe making it alphabetical and stuff, but they can't put it by the numbers that Nielsen gives for how many people have view, uh, viewed TV in that area. Then there's also Jimbo Wales. This guy is the creator of Wikipedia, and he all holds ultimate control over Wikipedia. So he doesn't, he doesn't usually get involved in most disputes, but if it's, if it's big, he'll get involved in it. There are two main rules. Verifiability, that means you have to have third-party sources. Uh, it's a big reason why you can't vandalize Wikipedia because most likely you're not coming up with a third party source. Uh, that means like you need used papers, actually credible information. Um, then there's also neutral point of view, which uh, means you write articles from uh, like a perspective that's not really involved in there. You have to detach yourself and write like this person says this, this person says this. You can't just have a soapbox and like go on, it's not a blog. 
you have to write from that point of view, or it will be reverted or changed to a neutral point of view. The flexibility of rules. is actually an ignore all rule policy that um, if you, if, it's, if, if, if ignoring uh, the rules helps you maintain Wikipedia better, basically, uh, then you can do it, but usually that's not the case. Usually the rules help you make, help make Wikipedia the best free encyclopedia it could be. Then there's vandalism. Uh, this is often quickly removed, but on some pages, like schools, it can remain there for a significant amount of time. Okay, these are the tools of the trade. This is what you use to edit Wikipedia. These are basic tools. Discussion page. This is a talk page for Taylor University. People are discussing like weasel words and you know the Taylor Taylor University article. And this is uh, editing Wikipedia. This is what actually it looks like when you go in there and you change stuff. Then there's a history tab. This tells you everything that um, that has been changed to the page. Uh, you you definitely. <laughs> probably have a couple um, changes there in some of the pages, of course, because it keeps track of everything that happens. Then there's the registered user tools. My, uh, you, can ha you have a user page when you create an account that you can customize. It's a picture of me and my user page. You have a user talk page where people can communicate to you, kind of like email on uh, Wikipedia. You have a watch list which is up here, this tells you every change that's ever happened. So if you were wondering why people always catch you when you vandalize pages, it's probably because of the watch list. There's also bots that, that checks, check the uh, entire site to see if uh, what changes has occur, have occurred, and there's like ways to program it to like, detect what is likely vandalism, so it's easier to find. But watch list. And the move tab, which is... You know, all these tabs are up here, if you have never noticed. And the move tab is here. And that lets you, well, you can't move the history. Um, that lets you move pages to rename them if they're like, you have uh, high schools and you want to rename them to high school. And that's what the move tab is for. And the my contributions link, uh, I didn't put that here, but that's uh, up here. And this tells you every change that you personally have made. Not just that they made to an article. So go forth and edit, and don't do stuff like this. Richard, adding Richard Simmons, Robert Smith, um, and the Dalai Lama as notable alumni of Cale University, probably not a smart idea to do. <laughs> so, uh, out of time. Uh, I could go on quite a while about Wikipedia, but uh, unfortunately I can't. Don't be shy. For the people who have not edited Wikipedia, I hope you're encouraged to try editing Wikipedia. Um, even if it's for spelling or sake, which there's a lot of edits. Just do it. If so inclined, you know now what privileges come with your user level and understand how to edit and uh, how to use some of Wikipedia's tools. And the decision is up to you. You will contribute to the will you contribute to the largest encyclopedia ever? 